these girls? Who doesn't? I don't. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce, the Iconic. Billy Kay with that signature look of arrogance on her face as she makes her way to the ring. I wonder what it must be like to be so in love with yourself. Michael, Corey, you guys ready to feel the glow? Anyone? And they're All opponents. right, just me. First, from Orlando, Florida, Naomi. Byron, just because Naomi dances, that is not an open invitation for you to do the same. Why? Because Naomi's actually good at it. I can do the electric slide. Who once beat Naomi in a dance contest? Oh, no. Don't say it. I really did. Did you pull a muscle? She's got nothing on me. One of the most athletic superstars in the history of WWE. A former pro basketball cheerleader, professional dancer. Naomi can do it all from bell to bell. And one of the most fun and exciting entrances in all of WWE. Bob your head, Corey, when Naomi comes out. How can you not get lost in the moment? Go ahead, Naomi, get it, girl. I'm an unbiased broadcaster, Sexton. Or just a grump. Well, you're looking at the future right here. And her partner, from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. WWE Universe, you are looking at a superstar who is simply blessed to be the best, just naturally better than everybody else, even when only doing the bare minimum. You talk about some of that natural athletic talent, Corey. Bianca's been exceptional her entire life. She earned all SEC and All-American honors in track and field at the University of Tennessee. And if you just ask her, she'll tell you why she's better than everybody else. You got eyes, Byron. You understand. A freak in the weight room, a beast in the ring. Bianca Belair can do it all. And she's got a lethal hair whip. Big time tag team match underway here. When you have competitors on the level of these women, you just know oh. it's going to be a great match. The drop undoubtedly did some damage. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Naomi going to work now. the other. It's devastating. Watch out! Running Bulldog! Now we have Naomi on the attack. Sharp 
sharp elbow. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing creates separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. She's hurting all over. Naomi is starting to look a little uneasy. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have may be the difference between a win and a loss. Maybe even more. Oh, wow. Born in Australia, Peyton Royce's path to WWE saw her travel many miles, including a stop in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, where, like many before her, Peyton honed her craft before ultimately joining WWE. Byron did allude to Peyton Royce's training in Canada. Yeah, she's a product of your best friend Lance Storm, and that's one of the reasons why Peyton is so good in the ring. I'm just glad Storm's personality didn't rub off on her during training. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. She's taking on some heat, but you can bet there's still plenty of gas left in her tank. She's putting up quite a fight here, Cole, but despite that, Ouch. now is probably a good time to look for the tag. In off the tag. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. Things starting to go the other way for her. Oh. We've certainly seen her withstand worse in the past, though. The good news is that if it gets too out of control, she has her partner she can tag in while she catches her breath in the corner. This is where we might just see one of these women pull away from the other for good. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques, like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Man, that hurt. That hurt bad. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. Well, Peyton Royce's career is just getting started, guys. I'd say she has already accomplished a great deal, including being named the 2016 NXT Breakout Star of the Year alongside Billy Kay. When she gets in attack mode, look out. We're looking at complete domination here. Nice move. That NXT Breakout Star of the Year award Michael brings up is something for Peyton to be proud of, especially what's Peyton Royce about to make happen? Here's, will she win it here? Digging deep for a kick out. She's still in this one. She's got her. Am I watching the same match as everyone else? How did the official miss that one? This is unbelievable. Tagged in. Billy Kay finds her target with that one. When it comes to Peyton Royce's opinion of herself, 
I partially agree with Tori. Yes, she should have self-confidence, but to call herself iconic? I don't know. That seems like a word that should be reserved for the likes of, I don't know, Tristratus and Mae Young. Who are you to decide who's an icon and who's not, Saxton? If Peyton Royce wants to call herself iconic, that's exactly what she should do. Period. We're witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. I ah, look, Billy Kay's in position. She's able to get out of the way there. Bianca Belair, big move coming. Oh, Bianca Belair comes up big there. Wow, what a gritty performance. She goes for the cover. To your point about Bianca's hair, Byron, I do think it's long enough that an opponent may get it. Wow, what a match. No doubt it was a good one. Here's another look. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some Here great stuff. Here are your winners, Naomi and Bianca Belair. Now that's earning a well-fought victory. Anytime you can pick up a win inside a WWE ring, you have something to be extremely proud of. You got that right, partner. Again, huge win here tonight.